Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this eclipse effect using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Affinity Designer 1.8.4. Okay, so like always, before we start, we need to go to File, New. I'm going to use my usually 1920 by 1080, but you can use any dimensions that you want. And before we continue, now that we have the new document, make sure that we have more or less the same uh, settings. So for that, let's go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Perfect. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. For this, um, for this design, what I'm going to be using is the ap appearance tab this one that I have here. Okay. If you don't have this one, you need to go to views studio and select from the appearance. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to put it in my tabs. I always, I got it there. So with that done, let's start it. So as we can see in this one, we have a background that is black. So to bring the rectangle tool, I'm going to press M on my keyboard and I'm going to click and drag to cover the entire canvas. And I'm going to select black, make sure that is perfectly aligned with the borders. And then I'm going to lock it. So there is no way for me to actually uh, modify it. And for that is control or alt um, L. With that done, I'm going to start uh, with a circle. Um, so I'm going to select my circle tool. I'm going to hold command shift or control shift. If you're in a PC, let's drag and make a circle, something like this, and let's make it black. And then I'm going to align it to the center of the page. I think I'm maybe I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Perfect. So now in here, I'm going to take this stroke. I'm going to move it down and I'm going to give it, I don't know, roughly, let's say six pixels. And I'm going to change the color for something kind of cyan, something like that. Maybe this color that I have here. I think that is fine. I'm going to give it a little bit more stroke here. So let's make it a little bit like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to add another one. If you come here to, to the bottom, uh, you see the add new stroke. I'm going to click in there. I'm going to move it down and I'm going to make this one. First, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make it white and I'm going to give something a little bit bigger. So you can see that is going out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to create another stroke. I'm going to move it to the back and I'm going to give more or less the same cyan color, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I think it's something like that will be fine. And the stroke, I'm going to give it a little bit more stroke. Something like that. Okay. Now that we have that, with the ellipse selected, I'm going to go to layer and span stroke. So now what we have is all the strokes uh, separately and I'm going to take the ellipse set. Uh, no, sorry. I'm going to leave that one at the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Gaussian blur for this one. So let me see roughly six pixels. I think it will be fine. Now let's see three or four. I think a four will be fine. Then the white one, and I'm going to give it another uh, Gaussian blur, something like like that. And then I'm going to take the last one, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. But this one, I'm going to give it a little bit more. Okay. So we are almost getting into the end. Now I'm going to click on the circle and I'm going to add an inner glow. 
and I'm going to give it a radius, something like that, maybe less intensity, and the color, I'm going to use that cyan color that we used previously. Let me see, and let's make it a little bit lighter, something like that, maybe the radius a little bit more, and intensity a little bit less, and we can bring the opacity a little bit less. You can play around with, uh, with all those values uh, for what you think is, is nice. Good, now that we have that, I think uh, this one, we can give it a little bit of blur as well. Let me put a little bit of blur to the border, something like that. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag all these ones and I'm going to hit Command or Control G to group them. Now, if you see something that makes this in, uh, effect interesting is if you see what I have here, I got like these leaks of light that, or flares, you know, that are coming out. So to do those ones are, is very simple. I'm going to use my uh, pen tool. So I'm going to select the pen mode. So I'm going to make this one smaller because we don't need it that big. I think one pixel will do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a shape, something like this. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to click and drag, select everybody, and I'm going to make it smooth, okay? So you can play around with these different uh, sections to make it uh, give it a little bit of variance. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, um, a with the fill tool, I'm going to put a gradient from there to more or less there. Let's go to the gradient and I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to make it that cyan that we were using. Okay, and the other part, I'm going to make it white. Okay, so we have that. Let me see something like this, something like that. You can play around with this one, you know, to whatever you feel like is better. Now, what I'm going to do to this one is I'm going to do the effect and I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur. So I think it's something like that will be fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and make sure that it's underneath all that. Something like this. You can play around to, to make it different or move the, uh, the field, something like that. I think that this one is too, too extreme in there. So I'm going to move it to something like this. Something like this. Make it a little bit more pointy, maybe. Something like that. Let's move it a little bit inside. So now I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag to duplicate. I'm going to um, flip it uh, vertically and maybe vertically and horizontally. No, something like this. And maybe put it somewhere there. something like that, you get the memo. So basically what, what you can do now is move it to, to taste uh, for what you think is, is going to look much better. And as you can see now we have our uh, eclipse. You can put other uh, streaks of light coming from different parts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and put the Clips. Let's select it. Let's change the color to white. And something that I like is the Futura. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. There we go. And maybe we can give it a understroke, something like that. Okay, perfect. I think that this is for this video. I hope you like it. 
if you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and please leave any comments in the section down below. Uh, by the way, by this uh, tutorial that I'm doing, I think I got like a 911 subscribers. Thank you very much for everybody who subscribes. You guys really um, support this channel. It's, it's, it's for you guys, for all the subscribers, all the comments and everybody and everybody who gives uh, the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. And like always, thank you very much for watching and I'm seeing you in the next video.